Hi, I'm Kumi. Last weekend, I went to Rolston Farmers Market in Selwyn with my daughter. I bought a bunch of fresh silver beet and other fresh vegetables for really good prices. The bright green leaved silver beet reminds me of the rice balls I had in Japan. They were wrapped with this kind of big leafy vegetable and were yummy. Often you can buy rice balls wrapped in seaweed seeds. But for change, try this recipe. You will like it. This time, I will introduce two different mixtures for the rice balls. The first one is the silver beet stem with the soy sauce flavor. The second one is tuna mayonnaise. Today, I introduce another Japanese seasoning, Kopi mayonnaise. It has a totally different flavor from regular mayonnaise. You can find one at Big Supermarket's international food section. Once you open it, you must keep it in the fridge. Today I make four rice balls. The main ingredients are 400 grams of cooked rice and four silver beet leaves. Seasoning for silver beet mix. 2 tablespoons of soy sauce 2 tablespoons of mirin Ingredients for tuna mayonnaise mixture 50 grams of canned tuna in oil 40 grams of Japanese mayonnaise Half teaspoon of soy sauce. For the second mixture, drain the oil from the tuna well using the kitchen paper. Mix the tuna in mayonnaise and soy sauce in a bowl. The second mixture is ready. First, separate the stems and the leaf part of the silver beet. Hi, I'm back. Bring a liter of water to the boil, then boil the leafy part of silver beet. For about a minute. Remove it from the pot and cool it in the cold water. Using the same water to boil the stems until they become clearer color. Then cool them in the cold water. For the first mixture, once the stems get cool enough, dry them with kitchen paper. And cut 
them into small pieces. medium heat, pour in the soy sauce, mirin, in pieces of steam. Fry it until the liquid disappears. It's about ready. Mix half of the rice with the fried silver beet mixture. Then make two rice balls. With the other half, make two more rice balls. Make a dent and fill with as much as you want of the tuna mixture. Cover the dent with some rice. It doesn't have to be covered perfectly right now. Now, I'm going to wrap these with beautiful green leaves. Before I wrap the rice balls with the leaves, I dry them with kitchen paper. For tuna ones, I recommend to put a pinch of salt
Finally, you can individually wrap with grant wrap for your work or schools. If it looks yummy to you, please subscribe the channel and turn on the notification. Let's enjoy the local product with me. Thank you for watching Konnichiwa Kitchen. See you in the next video. またね。